I feel so awkward, you make me feel awkward I feel so awkward with you When I feel awkward, I like feeling awkward When I'm being awkward with you Alright, I'm recording Are you? Mm-hmm. Okay, hi, I'm Brian Staker I'm host of the Awkward Hour podcast I've been doing this podcast called the Awkward Hour in Salt Lake City, Utah for, let me turn that sound on. My name is Brian Staker. I've been doing the Awkward Hour podcast on Ustream and previously on iTunes. I've been doing this podcast in Salt Lake City, Utah for five years, talking about the humorous side of awkward experiences and interviewing some of the most interesting people I can find about their own awkward experiences. People like filmmaker Trent Harris, um, fringe political candidate Vermin Supreme, I interviewed actor Crispin Glover, and a lot of local awkward people. I'm having a party celebrating the fifth anniversary of the Awkward Hour. Uh, see, I need to really write this out. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, you're um, doing good. This party's good where it's candid and I screw, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a budget for this party, and t-shirts. Um, in my Kickstarter, what we're doing is trying to raise money to have this festival. It's a day, not just a party, it's a day long awkward fest, a festival with local awkward performers, a lot of comedians, then my co-host, I haven't even mentioned yet. M Melissa Merlot has been doing this show with me for uh, two years. A year I don't know. Started I'm coming. Hi, everybody. <laughs> including my own band, Get Stakerized at the end. The most low awkward to try to sound so I can sound okay for other people to actually listen to. But uh, a highlight video, best of, from the little highlights of the show. See, you write shit out. <laughs> to fund this Kickstarter, to literally kickstart the show again. It literally <laughs> is a Kickstarter, to try to kickstart the show again. Um, so that's our Kickstarter, and we're going to have some wonderful um, Awkward Hour t-shirts, pins, stickers with the logo, and uh, um, so we have a lot of wonderful uh, premiums for donors. I'm running out of things I can to add. Why don't you just tell us uh, What's, why you started doing Awkward Hour? The Awkward Hour, I started it in 1988. No, 2008. <laughs> because uh, 88. a lot of writing, journalism, um, locally and a little bit national. Interviewing people is always fascinating, getting their story. Artists, musicians, it's always really interesting. But it's limited by the amount of space that they have. And so I want to do something longer form, a little more free form, where we can uh, stretch out and go more, to, more in depth with people and tell their stories. I actually had a contest of different things. I wasn't going to have it awkward when I started doing the show. Um, I had a, ten different names for the show, and my friends voted for them, and Awkward Hour was the overwhelming majority of people chose. my. I let them pick. They named it. You know, I am awkward. I'm an... I'm my personality you can tell from watching this I'm just uh, awkward you know <laughs> so it was a good fit and it was a good way to uh, because awkwardness is a part of your humanity and what makes us human things that not poking fun a little goofy you know like awkward things you see on the internet silly little videos but try sometimes though yeah but I mean trying to get in depth and find out using awkwardness to find out more about what makes us human you know and what makes us tick and uh, you know that type of thing what um what what is important to all of us in the inner 
depths of our psyche. Did you just stop it? Mm -mm. No. Okay. I just closed up. Um, okay, so maybe that's about. That's good. Okay.